stop putting yourself last. I get it. (laughs) My name's Annie Henderson. I'm a life coach in Texas. And we're kind of raised this way. We're raised to believe that it's best to put others first, right? A mom is sacrificial. Always putting the kids' needs and PTO and volunteering and errands for others first. But you have to make sure that your tank is full. I believe it was Lisa Nichols who talks about don't serve from your cup, right? You don't have to give from your own tank. Make sure that you pour into yourself and fill your own bucket enough to where it trickles over and you are serving from your saucer. You have so much to give because you know the importance of filling yourself up. I remember when I was a single mom and I had this impression that you had to dump all of yourself into that child, right? If you're going to the park, it couldn't be five to 10 minutes. It had to be half a day. It had to include a picnic. It had to, you had to make so many memories and that is not the case. (laughs) This goes into my kiddo's love language, which is quality time. So at that time, when she was little, maybe two to four years old, I had it in my head that it had to be an event. We had to go somewhere, right? If it was a vacation, quality time had to be this memorable vacation or a full out event the whole day. One day we were driving by the park and I remember she was like, mommy, mommy, can we go to the park? And I was like, that that is not on the schedule is what I was thinking. And I was like, we can, but we could only do like five minutes. She was like, yes. I was like, really? I was like, okay. So we pulled in because we were already there driving by. I was like, okay, I'm going to set my watch for five minutes. We can run and play and do everything we can. And then when, when when it goes off. We're going to sprint back and race back to the car as fast as we can. So it became kind of a fun little game. And we did it and she was pleased, right? It checked the box of quality time for her, right? One-on-one time with mommy. Didn't have to be a full day, a weekend, not even an hour, not even 30 minutes. So what other things are we telling ourselves that is keeping us frustrated and drained and overwhelmed and exhausted. Notice, right? Those limiting beliefs that trickle up and that have you putting yourself last. Imagine if you were to be a car, right? Everyone wants, uh, needs some errands taken care of. They need to be taken places. You have to drive everyone to school, maybe go to work. What happens if you don't fill up the gas tank? Well, if it's low, you're going to run out. And then guess what? You can't help anyone. You can't. You can't help your friends. You can't help out at church. You can't help with your kids or soccer practice or any of those things if you don't take care of yourself as a car in this instance. Same thing goes with riding an airplane. What do they tell you? They say when that oxygen mask falls, are you supposed to put it on your little baby first? No. Are you supposed to put on grandma over here first? Nope. They say, put it on yourself first. Guess what? When you have oxygen, you can then help them get theirs on as well. If you try to neglect yourself and then you try to wrestle with this kid who might not understand it or want it on and keeps taking it off, or grandma who maybe it gets tangled, right? You pass out, done for, everyone on your road dies. (laughs) 
Okay. <laughs> That's worst case scenario, but it paints a, a really good picture. When you put yourself last, and this one's going out for the parents, when you put yourself last, you are constantly drained of energy. And guess what? When you're drained of energy, trying to do all these amazing things for your kids, they get a low energy version of you. For, the, for those of you without kids, if it's your relationship, if it's your job and work, and you're showing up with this low energy instead of up here, which is what they wanted when they, when they hired you, or when you're in a relationship and someone met you and they're like, oh my gosh, right? If you continue to neglect yourself and put yourself last, you're going to be a completely different person. And that's important for you to remember and to know boundaries are crucial. Let me know in the comments, has anything struck a chord? Or sometimes we're like, yeah, I've heard that before, but I'm going to keep doing what I've always, <laughs> what I've always done. If that sounds like you and you need help, let me help you. I would love to help you with this. I used to be, I used to have that same and very similar mindset. And now I'm in this place where guess what? My partner and my kiddo, and my clients get the best of me because I make sure I'm filled up to the brim and overflowing. And guess what? If I don't, if I start to neglect myself, they can all tell. <laughs> I can't, I can't hide it too well. Now, if this has been you for months, years, decades, that might be what people are used to. A lot of times my clients say that, you know, they're scared of hurting others or, you know, they're afraid if they say no to someone or no to helping out that those people won't be friends with them anymore or they'll disown them or as simple as they'll be upset. So this is your reminder. It's okay if people are upset. Just remember, you are not the first person that's ever said no to them before. They've heard it before. It might be why they're coming to you because <laughs> they know they can get a yes every time because maybe you lack boundaries. And I've done another video on people pleasing, right? A lot of this is kind of over. Um, it's connecting. You are not the first person to tell them no. They've heard it before. Sometimes we over function for people. And when we do that, they have the, it creates an inability for them to grow to evolve, to start to learn how to do things for themselves. So sometimes when we people please others, we don't hold boundaries. It's actually hurts both of us. It hurts me because I'm drained and overwhelmed and exhausted. It hurts that person because someone's doing something for them that maybe they could do themselves. Maybe they could reach out. Maybe they could plan ahead so many different things. It depends on what that boundary is. So I hope you hear me. I hope you listen carefully when I say putting yourself last is a losing game. Everyone in your life should be able to see and understand the value in you investing in yourself, doing self-care, talking to a therapist or a life coach having time each day to meditate or to do tapping or to journal or whatever it is that's going to help you get to a better place so then you can do and have all the energy you need to do all the things that you want to do. Y'all heard that once, <laughs> not think you should, not feel you have to, but all the things that you choose to do with your time and energy. I hope this was helpful. A reminder, share with someone you know, tag someone. Let me know in the comments if this is you, if you continually put yourself last and what steps you're going to take. If you want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm here. Let's hop on a consult call. I'll see you next Monday.